Hi, I'm Dr. Verano, and I'm going to show you how to inject compounded semaglutide. Semaglutide is the same active um, ingredient that is used in Ozembic and Wagovi, but for our purposes, we have the compounded version. And you will have three things. You will have the product itself, which is refrigerated. You will have an alcohol pad, and you will have the uh, insulin syringe, which goes up to 100 units. So if you can see, it's marked off in units of 10 all the way up to 100. Your first injection is only going to be 10 units, so it's only going to be up to 10% of this, and I'll show you as we go. Um, also keep in mind, the syringe has two orange things. Um, you take off here to uh, withdraw, and this is the portion that covers the needle. So. Uh, for our sake, I just wanted to point that out. So you have these three products, um, or three items. I do want to point out with the semaglutide that it is not full to the top, and this is a brand new vial. So it, you really only will come about 20, 25% filled, uh, and that's a full portion. So you can see that there. Um, so because it's a new one, you take the, uh, uh, top off and you'll only have to do that once and I do point out when you turn it upside down it's not going to fall out so the first step you do is you take your alcohol pad and you will clean the vial cap itself plus an area on your body now you can inject in your inner thighs right or left side your abdomen right or left side or you can inject the posterior arm which is more difficult to do if you're doing it by yourself when you do the abdomen or the inner thigh, you do the right side one week, we suggest you, op you alternate to the left side the other week. And you want to inject it into a fatty tissue, so wherever there's the most fat. So step one, you'll just rub the vial, and then you will rub in, or clean an area off on yourself. If I pretend I'm going to inject on my right lower abdomen here. Um, the second step, you'll take the two orange uh, caps off to expose the needle and you can see we we're going to withdraw to the 10 unit mark which is only 10 percent for our first uh, week or two of injections so the black hub rubber hub is is where it's going to be from there on up but i will show you now because i am right-handed what i like to do personally is i withdraw with my right hand and i take the vial with my left now again i you can hold it upside down nothing's going to fall out you just stick the um, needle right into it and then you withdraw and it comes out because it's a little bit cold because of the refrigerator it's not as quick as water but so you can even go past the 10 unit mark which is fine but just keep it keep it in the vial and you can push it all the way back up to the 10 so now you have your 10 units you'll take it out now, if you have an air bubble, just sometimes what you can do is just pull back and go up, or you can flick it. Um, that's okay if you lose a little bit of product, but the air bubble will falsely say that you have more product, like an extra few units when you don't because the air is occupying space. So now you have your syringe that you're going to inject. Now the key is when you do inject, if I'm injecting in the right lower abdomen or left, you wanna pinch. Once you pinch, it takes away any type of discomfort. So you stick the needle all the way in. Once it's all the way in, you can inject the product. Uh, I say hold it there for three seconds, and then you're done. Once you're done, you can throw the uh, syringe into a sharps container. If you do not have a sharps container, that is fine too. We actually, you know, you will want to recap so nobody around you will stick themselves. So again, the cap has two ends, and the proper way to recap is not to do this so you don't stick yourself. It's to little get, get it in there and then use your table as, a, as your friend, and then you can throw it out. And then you stick the um, product back in the um, refrigerator. So again, just to recap, number one, you cleanse the, the um, rubber hub and you cleanse the area. Number two, you withdraw the product uh, to the desired amount. Number three, you pinch yourself and inject. Number four, you can um, recap and dispose. 
and then number five, just stick it back in the fridge and you're done. If you have any further questions, you're always welcome to call our office and we'll help you with anything. Thank you.